Right now, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Gracious God, you've called us to be faithful witnesses for you. We struggle with this because so often we get caught up in our doubts and our despair as we look at the world around us. Help us to turn again to you, living in your household of freedom and peace, of reconciliation and witness. Inspire us this morning to better serve you as we hear words of encouragement and songs and testimonies in scripture and in stories. May our words reflect your goodness and your love as we reflect on all that you have done. We offer this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, children, by and by, Lord, when the morning comes, all the saints of God gathering home, we will tell the story one over come, and we'll understand it better by and by. Trials dark on every hand that we cannot understand. All the ways that God will lead us to the blessed promised land. He will guide us with his eye and we'll follow till we die. And we'll understand it better by and by. Well, children, by and by, Lord, when the war is done, all the saints of God carry one we will tell the story how we'll overcome and we'll understand it better by and by. Impatient hidden snares often take us unaware, and our hearts are made to bleed for some thoughtless word or deed. And we wonder why it tests when we try to do our best, and we'll understand it better by and by. Well, children, by and by, Lord, when the morning comes to all the saints of God every home, we will tell the story how we overcome, and we'll understand it better by and by, and we'll understand it better by and by. Um, that I was not good enough for a million different reasons. And I was in a, the old Presbyterian church with a group of a zillion women, and somebody stood up and read this scripture. I hope it applies and touches your heart where it touches mine. It's Psalm 139. O oh Lord, you've examined my heart and you know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up, you know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such a knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go to heaven, you're there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell in the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I can ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night, but even in the darkness, I cannot hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. Amen. Amen. Oh, I know. And y'all, if you will... 
get your red hymn book and look on page 33. And I'm not going to do all of this, but I'm going to do part of the uh, uh, baptismal covenant here, and, and you guys will have a part. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, it's through the, baptism, the sacrament of baptism that we are initiated, that we become a part of Christ's holy church. We're incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation, and we're given new birth through water and the Spirit. All this is God's gift offered to us without price. So, I present to you Kennedy Reed for baptism this morning. Um, the United Methodist Church, um, we baptize anybody who becomes a believer. Kennedy has, has made a decision to follow Christ, so as a new believer, she comes wanting to be baptized. So, we're going to do that. Uh, uh, you know, an adult makes that decision and comes. We would baptize you. Um, sometimes a kid grows up in the church. They're baptized as a baby. Their family commits. You know, I'm going to raise this kid in the church. And then when they 12, 13, 14 years old, we have a confirmation class <laughs> and teach them the basics of the faith. And they say... Yes, I, I believe that. I want to stay in the church that I've been in. My, you know, I want to stay faithful to Christ. And they were baptized as a child, and they claim at that point, they claim their baptism, and it becomes their own, not their parents. Um, we baptize, we'll duck you all the way under, but we don't have a, a baptistry up here like the Baptist Church would. We could go to a swimming pool or a creek or down to the lake. But it's kind of chilly for that. <laughs> and, uh, uh, so we're going to use the water here in a little bit. Um, so it's the in the United Methodist Church, it's the act. It's the belief. It's not the method. We're going to get her wet um, in one way or the other. <laughs> so that's kind of a summary of what we believe. So Kennedy, it's okay. Don't be scared. I, I've never done this before either. <laughs> uh, do you do you accept Jesus as as your Savior? Will you resist evil? Say I do. I do. Okay. Uh, do you put your whole trust in Jesus and promise to serve him? Yes. Uh, so I'm kind of skipping through all this. And Christy and y'all, will you nurture Kennedy and Christ's Holy Church that by your teaching and examples, Kennedy can be guided to accept God's grace? Yes. Okay. So according to the, the grace given to you, um, we're going to baptize you. Um, let's go on page 35. So I'm going to ask y'all, top of 35, do you as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? We do. Will you nurture one another and Kennedy in the Christian faith and life and in, in, include Kennedy now before you in your care? With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround Kennedy with a community of love and forgiveness that she may grow in her trust of God and be found faithful in her service to others. We will pray for Kennedy that she may be a true disciple who walks in the way that leads to life. Let's go... Let's go on to page 37. Okay. Come over here. Maybe face this way. And y'all come around behind her. Maybe put a hand on her shoulder. And I'm going to wrap this around your neck. Yeah. It kind of holds it. Okay. So, Kennedy. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, 
The Holy Spirit work within you. I'm gonna put my hand on your shoulder. The Holy Spirit work within you that being born through water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. And the people respond. Amen. Amen. Now it's our joy to welcome Kennedy as a sister in Christ. Uh, join me there right in the middle. Through baptism, you are incorporated by the Holy Spirit into God's new creation and made to share in Christ's royal priesthood. We are all one in Christ Jesus. With joy and thanksgiving, we welcome you as members of the family of Christ. Go on, Good job. Good job. We're proud of you. Good job. I was about her age when I was baptized. So they dumped me in the water. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank think Randy Travis or somebody has a song about uh, pray for the fish downstream. <laughs> Anybody else have a baptism story or anything you'd like to share? No. I, t I told my grandpa Gil was a general Baptist preacher and I used to go with him to the baptism sometimes and they were at Pond or at the river whatever and I thought I said boy uh, how, how do you know how long to hold them under <laughs> little blubber yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah. when, when I Cynthia was telling us uh, baptism is a beginning. It's it's not an ending. This is the beginning of a journey for Kennedy, uh, and we're going to talk about that some next week in the next sermon series I I have. Um, but you don't have to wait until God makes those changes in your life. You you make the decision to follow Christ, and then. <coughs> Then God starts working on you. Uh, from and God works on you before that, and, but God continues to work uh, on you afterward. And like uh, whatever that quote was last week, faith is a long journey in in, in the same direction or something like that. Uh, but this is a beginning of a, a long journey for all of us. And let's just go to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for, for this day, for, for the, the service we've had here, God. I, I feel uplifted uh, from the songs and from listening to everybody's stories and testimonies. And, and uh, just thank you for this time and for moving here amongst us. And we especially are thankful for Kennedy and the decision she has made. And just ask that you would bless her and her family and, and uh, help them to remain faithful to you in this decision that, that Kennedy has made and help us to be faithful uh, to them as a congregation and, and to help steer Kennedy in the, the right ways. We just uh, praise you and thank you for all that you've done for us. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. As you go forth, let the light of God's love shine on you, in you, and through you as you go into God's world to serve God's people. We go forth to know Christ through this word and to make him known through our actions. Amen.
Okay, let's go in God's grace and God's peace. Amen.